These mics are impressively sensitive, and I have the gain. <coughs> See what I mean? Woo. Welcome to the James Chamber Show on YouTube. This channel is devoted to the early portions of the show, the equipment testing, the early studio tests. There's a lot of fun for us to do, and I really hope that you enjoy what we put out for you. Keep your eyes open for when the show goes live. And until then, keep listening. Feel free to subscribe. And thank you very much. Yeah, I don't know what you sound like either, but I do compare it to like uh, this pod. I listen to a couple podcasts, and mm -hmm. I think it's mm -hmm. I think it's right there. It sounds. What What, what do you wonders? listen to? I listen to the Joe Rogan. Oh podcast. yeah, Joe Rogan Experience. Yeah, yes, it's always yeah. good. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. Yeah, mm. <laughs> couple, huh? <laughs> well, I, I've listened to several of his. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hold me to the number, okay? I, I listen to a good TED Talks today. I listen to those sometimes. Well, that's YouTube, but, you know. Yeah, yeah. No, TED Talks are good. I like them. I like them quite a bit. Uh, there's some very... I was... <laughs> what? He's a couple, huh? <laughs> <laughs> He's already grilling you like it's a real show. <laughs> yeah. He's like, oh. Bringing it to us personally, as all three of us are healthcare workers, I mean, we we have a vested interest in fundamentally performing a task that helps other people. That's what our job boils down to. It's, you know, yes, we make a living doing it, but what it, the, the, the ethical value of what our job is, is we supply other people with help. So a story that I read uh, a couple days ago, a couple nights ago, was this couple, this undocumented couple needed to have their their infant needed his uh, help had a heart defect and so he took it they took it to a hospital the hospital this is in texas the hospital said of wow course it was texas yeah well <laughs> they said look we we can't do this procedure here it's a little bit too much for what we're capable of we're going to send you i think it was to corpus christi and we're going to there's a hospital down there who can take care of it so they went down to corpus christi this is the same one I'm talking about. Actually. Is this the one? Okay. Yeah. yeah. And so have you heard about this, Hunter? Mm -hmm. no. Okay. So essentially what happened was, and, and I, I'm a little vague on the details because the follow-up hasn't really come through much yet, but um, essentially this couple went down to the hospital. They told everybody, hey, you know, yes, we're undocumented. Yes, we don't have a lot of ability to pay, but our kid needs this heart procedure. And can you, you know, can you help us? And in the process of them being evaluated and, you know, can, you know, what can we do to help this kid? Mm -hmm. ICE shows up and arrests the parents for deportation. Oh, and it comes to find out the only people that they had talked to about their legal status was, was like the, the doctor staff. and the nursing staff. Yeah. And so it had to be one of the nursing staff who called them in and yes. actually turned them over to you know, immigration, the custom enforcement. And that struck me. I, we've seen more stories of people, you know, getting hemmed up in, you know, churches and hospitals and really for doing nothing other than being here illegally. Okay. That happens a lot. I've seen those stories, but something about this one got to me because we're talking about people who are supposed to be in the business of helping people. And no matter what your circumstance <clears throat> It just seems... Well, but a lot of people right now are so polarized one or another politically that they're letting those positions influence them even on their personal professional life. Oh, yeah. So I think that it's not unheard of right now for a nurse that is more conservative and anti-immigration <laughs> to go out of their way and do something like that. I think that's stupid. I think that's um, against the code of what we're supposed to be about. Um, but I don't think that's necessarily uncommon right now. We're, we're all very polarized and swayed to um, the positions that we hold. And for some reason, we can't separate ourselves from those positions on a daily basis. So, um it's a sad thing, but well, I I agree, but I think that there's a certain there's a certain moral bankruptcy that comes in that that behavior to to be in a position of not only authority in a situation, but a position of somebody whose whole goal 
is supposed to be to assist people no matter what. And that's the whole idea. For example, an emergency room, anybody should be able to walk in. It doesn't matter what your status is, and you get medical assistance. You may not get long-term care. In fact, you won't get long-term care, but you will at least get your broken bone mended or your cough treated or whatever. Yeah, but that's being swayed even from just financial situations. We see more nurses judging and, um, you know, uh, putting people from a, a bad situation kind of in a different sector than the regular, again, quotation mark, um, patients. And mm. so it doesn't surprise me too much that someone would do that, change that view from someone just coming from a shitty part of town versus <clears throat> someone being not undocumented. I mean, unfortunately, there people are treated differently based on these things. They shouldn't be, but it, it's a yeah. factual thing. And surely that's not like a HIPAA violation, you know, patient confidentiality thing for this nurse or doctor to give the information that we got illegals in here. I would, you know. I would, I kind of think it would, would be. be though, because you can't, can't You're really not supposed shit. to call the police yeah. unless there's like something found on them right. or if they're, uh, you know, accompanied by the police. You have a certain right for mm -hmm. privacy. So I do honestly think that that might be a, a real thing is maybe that could be fought and, mm -hmm. and they could say that's a HIPAA violation. You shouldn't have been able to hand out that information. Um, Some and I don't know how she would have known necessarily. Right. Some think they're being a patriot by saying, hey. Yeah. And uh, and and you got to wonder the mentality. Is it like take these problems back to your own country or something? Be like, no, that's why we're here. Right. Opportunity, man. You know? Well, opportunity and, and also. But also it's still a fucking baby that has a heart condition. Like a, why wouldn't you still just <clears throat> at least try it? And so I do know a little bit more about that story. And apparently the the arresting force did a good job of. Uh, taking each parent at a different time and processing them, and they allowed them to stay with their child, at least one parent the whole time, so the That's baby good. wasn't le left alone. And in the end, they did get arrested and put on a list and stuff, but I think they're going through a process to stay in the United States because they're both um, nonviolent um, you know, individuals that have no history. And mm -hmm. so... It might be a good story in the end where they're allowed to stay. Um, but I, that doesn't necessarily make up for or how these things are proceeding. But it was nice to hear that, you know, the people on the other side making the rest weren't total jerks because True. that does mean something or it should. Oh, it should. It should. And it and it does. I mean, that there is because some Because they're just doing that. their job at that point, you know. Right. And, and I agree. There's some value in that. I think when it. The, the side of it that really, because it hits home to me, because I do take pride in, I do take pride in my job. I take pride in what medical professionals do. Um, you know, there's, I was thinking about it earlier. I'm like, we, we blow out our backs, knees, you know, necks, you know, feet for, and take, and in our case, take radiation dose almost daily yep. for the betterment of other people. Mm -hmm. And there's something I mean, we do it because we need to make a living, but I think we also do it because we care enough about other people that it's a valuable thing to do. And the idea of that, those two ideas, that, you know, that caring butts up against that wall of didn't, did you just violate this family's confidentiality in a very, very fundamental way? Like that, that nursing staff or whoever it was who did that, something about the ethics of that. That's not a, the morality of that person kind of concerns me. And it concerns me that they're in a position where they can affect other people's lives dramatically. Um, and I, I, I know that there's bad actors in every area. I mean, I'm sure we could find, you know, a dozen at our facility. But well, let me counteract that because she might have been doing it in a way that she thought was for the betterment of society. You know, that's the problem with all this. I think most people are trying to do the right thing. They just have a different perspective of what the right thing is. So I don't disagree with you. I don't like how sure. that lady handled it. I don't think she should have done what she did. But it's hard to be in someone else's head and heart and think that she was just doing it out of cruelty. Sure. Well, I, right. 
and I don't want to say that you're doing it out of cruelty. I want to. I guess my point is that it's it's against the code of what we're yeah, trying to represent, and, and it's an abuse. It's an abuse of authority, um, and especially when we're beholden specifically to a very strict set of standards that say, you know, you will not. We can't even say to somebody we know, like, hey, you know, I saw your dad in the hospital. Is yeah. he okay? You know. Yeah. And and that's a friend or a relative. You know, we can't even say that without it being a very direct HIPAA violation. And that's coming out of a place of completely ubiquitous just concern for somebody else. Yep. You know, so I don't know. That that particular story kind of rubbed me in a way that's just I think there's an entirely reasonable way to have a national pride. National pride yeah. is something that I think it, it would help if every country could earn their national pride. You know what I mean? Like if we all could look at our country just as Americans and say, wow, truthfully, there are some serious problems. We have we have committed some serious crimes in our past and some of the vestiges are still with us and we need to address those. But the fact that you we could acknowledge them and attempt to make them better and attempt to move forward, the that – is where pride comes from mm -hmm. to say that, Hey, you know what? I get it. We, we did some terrible things in our history. We still continue to do some iffy, if not terrible things now, but we're working to stop it and we're working to advance it. And I take pride in our ability to do that and yeah. strength of courage to acknowledge our own failings and not sweep them under the rug. God, I'm getting the call. Can we try to take my call? Please. I, I don't wonder if so here, plug into the headphones or what? Why don't why don't you take your call and then let me in the <clears throat> middle, let me try to figure this out real quick. I'm gonna try it on speaker. Marcy, are you there? Oh my god, I was gonna cut you out. Hold so on, don't, don't, don't cuss me out. We're you're on live feed. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> live feed. Hello, we're we're, we're doing that podcast. Remember me telling you about Marshall? Uh anybody got any questions for Marcy though? I got it right here. Yeah, hey, this is Nick. And what? Don't, what, don't. What's the hey, movie's hey, all about? Hey, how are you? I'm, I'm great. great. Here, I will call you back, all right? I'm going to bed. We're in the sound studio, babe. Time is money. All right. Yeah. Sleep good. Love you. I'll probably come to your house, okay? Time is low job. I got that. <laughs> Bye. I'm making hey. that a clip. <laughs> Who's she talking to? Time is blowjobs. <laughs> 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 being responsible and Hunter's on call too so relatively yeah. responsible no we're good I appreciate that though I love you too sweetie bye yeah Megan did she think we were just hammering that whole bottle down she she actually yeah she was wondering she's like you man <laughs> quote you man children aren't up there drinking that whole bottle of liquor are you <laughs> <laughs> She knows us. She knows us well. <laughs> Hell yes. That's great. Although, no, we are not. Yeah, no, I told her. I said, that's that's not what we're doing. Everything's okay. I could understand why this would be fun, though, just to get liquored up and then talk about a bunch of shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like, okay. Absolutely. Management material. <laughs> Is that that? <laughs> Killed it. Fucking shit, boys. Thank you for listening to The James Chambers Show on YouTube. We greatly appreciate your support. Please subscribe to the page to get notifications when we release new content. Uh, please like the page and, of course, leave a message for us in the comments section below. We greatly appreciate all your input and support, and thank you to Ben Sounds for providing music. We look forward to talking to you next time. Thank you very much, and goodbye. I'M ON SET! <laughs> DAMN IT!